All right, I'm kind of excited about this little tutorial because I think it's really going to help you guys with CSS. And what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using W3 Schools instead of Tzag. Tzag I really like and it does some things really well, but W3 Schools works better with CSS, I think. It does a better job explaining it and showing you how to use it. So go to W3 Schools and click on just the learn CSS for now. So we're going to go to learn CSS and you're really not going to do anything with this tutorial. This is more, I mean you can, that's fine, but this is more just to watch and to learn some things and understand some things and and mainly how to use W3 schools and where to go to get certain things that you need help with. So when you go to the the CSS for W3 schools the first thing you see is up here, CSS Home, Introduction, Syntax, ID and Class, and How To. The very first page, though, gives you some really good examples on how to use CSS. So if you forget or you forget the syntax, it's right here. Now they're using three different, three different tags in one style sheet. They've got their body tag here, and they're going to background color to whatever that color is. I have no idea. It's written in hexadecimal format. They've got an H1 tag. Color is going to be orange and it's going to be in the center. So text align is going to be in the center. Remember what I said earlier is you can use more than one value for each of the tags um, or selectors. We have a P tag down here. And we're changing the they're, they're changing the font family to Times New Roman, and they're also changing the font size to 20 pixels. So this gives you a really good example on how it's set up. Gives you some other examples and things down at the bottom, but this is the first page. You have an introduction here, what it stands for, why it works, all that good stuff that you can read and check out on your own. The syntax I really like because it tells you the selector, the property, this is called a declaration, but it's the property and the value. And you notice, again, they have two different properties with two different values for one selector or tag. Remember, selectors are just tags okay, that we're going to format in HTML. So I really like the way this uh, explains what they are and how they work together. Gives you some examples again down here. Don't worry about ID in class now. We'll go over that later. But then there's a CSS how to. And I really like this because it talks about external style sheets, internal style sheets, and inline style sheets. So when we get to that point, I may have you reference this tutorial video and just go back and check to make sure you understand what all three of them are here. You can read about them um, after we talk about them in class. After this though, I really like what they do here. These are the stylings that you're going to use most. Not all, not all the time, but most. So if you want to style a background, you click here. Text, you click here. Fonts, links, lists, and tables. So for example, if I have a link that I, or let's go to font first. We haven't done links yet. So if I want to change a font. I'm going to click on styling fonts right here under styling. It's going to tell me the difference between serif and sans serif, which is pretty cool. And then it gives me some different font families. And then down here, it tells me not only font families I can change, but I can change font styles and it shows me how to do that. Don't worry about the the p dot normal, p dot italic and p dot oblique. We'll get to those those are classes and we're not going to worry about those right now. Font size, if you want to change the font size of your H1 tag, that's how you do it. Your H2 tag or your P tag. Okay? They give you all that and it's nicely laid out for you. Okay, So again, that's W3 schools under just the basic CSS. What I also like about this, just really quick stick with me, is down at the bottom here they have this CSS reference. And if you click that CSS reference, what it will do is, remember the five it gave us over there? Uh, let me click back. 
the five it gave us up here, or I'm sorry, six, backgrounds, text, fonts, links, lists, and tables. Well, it's got those six, but it also has all the other ones under reference. Okay, so we, we've got box, we've got color, there's our background, we get border and outline, flexible box, there's our font, grid, hyperlink, there's our list, marquees, paddings, positioning, print, speech, tables, there's tables and text. So if you can't find what you're looking for in the first six, it's probably here. All right. So go ahead and check these out. Go to W3 Schools. Make sure you can put in all kinds of different formatting using CSS for all kinds of different tags. All right. Enjoy. Take care.